Hello everybody. Today I like to discuss with you my project on restoration and upgrade of nice Sony TCWR965. So I did like uh, replace it uh, belts, replace it pinch rollers in this deck, and finally I replace it uh, capacitors in the sound pass to make it sounds nicely. As you see, this deck has a fully separate Dolby schema. So it's actually a double deck in, in one body. So it has two separate uh, bias generators, recording circuits, playback circuits, uh, separated Dolby circuits. It has seven motors. As you may see, three motors for each deck and additional seventh motor to uh, hold and like uh, automatically adjust levels. Um, this deck has a pretty nice layout and it was a pleasure to work on it. Uh, you see, so it has a two fully separate A and B chassis combined on one board. Uh, what else? Uh, it's the only common part was a power supply, as you may see large capacitors in the middle and control circuit. So here is the automatic levels adjustment. So this is a, a knob which is can rotate uh, by motor. You see the IRL button and fader buttons, both works for it. And here is uh, from the back side. So this motor is uh, uh, controlled by the main uh, microchip. What else? Uh, so you see, everything has connectors, so I was able to quickly disconnect and disassemble it. I removed the uh, front panel. It has a few connectors on it, but it was quite easy to do. And like disconnect everything and remove it separately. Uh, you see, so it's a front panel disconnected. And there are quite a few cables, but much less than on Nakamichi ZX7, those had like 11 cables. Uh, here is a deck tape transfer removed, so that's a main board, and you see vertical installed board for Dolby system processing. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I had to uh, work with the schema and uh, replace capacitor. So to, to be able to replace capacitor, I have to disassemble everything, remove boards. Here is the uh, upgrade, and like not upgrade, so it's uh, the old belts. You see the condition. It still was playing with these belts, but uh, I decided to replace everything. Sony Transport has uh, a known... Uh, uh, service panel is quite easy to disassemble if you follow all the steps. I have seen some guys do it uh, with uh, trying like to not fully disassemble. As you see, I had to remove and clean up uh, uh, cup stands and uh, pulley on the motor assembly. Uh, here is everything assembled back, and if you mention, I assembled it wrong, so proper for reverse deck. Uh, you, we need to install belt, so it will be rotating uh, cup stands in the opposite direction. So here is the assembly pictures. Um, do you see the second deck being disassembled to be able like, to remove the board and have an easy access to the common gears? I had to disassemble front plate and like remove the gear which connects uh, power from reels motor. Here you see uh, we need to uh, make sure everything is lubricated as needed. And here is um, um, marks which we need to uh, put across each other to make sure when we will assemble our common gears will remain in place. And if you mention like whether there is a specific place for belts when you can just like uh, put it in uh, like, like here on this picture. And then when we install the board on top, we fix it and then we uh, gently uh, pull the belt and it gets onto motor pulley. As easy as that. So pinch rollers has been replaced with a brand new pinch rollers. 
old one were in pretty poor shape, has been cleaned properly, and everything verified and tuned it. I custom tuned it, uh, and then I had to tune all levels in the deck. Um, here is assembly, uh, nothing special, but you need to make sure that you install parts properly. You see a dent on this part, which uh, should work around the gear. And there how spring needs to be installed. On one of the decks, it won't install it improperly. And here is the schematic and boards, uh, and that I've been working on replacing capacitors. I installed the best one, Nishikon Muse series, the green capacitors you may see on the board. Uh, it was 32 capacitors, which needs to be replaced on both boards. I believe 20 on the Dolby board and 12 on the main board. From the back side, you may see control chips, which are responsible for Dolby B and C and for uh, switching connections uh, between uh, input-output circuits. Here you may see installed capacitors uh, for the records and playback amplifiers. A full set of all capacitors has been saved for reference, so they not needed, they don't, don't cost anything really. Um, that's the final results. I had to uh, properly solder everything, clean it up, and as you may see, it's, it's nice. And then I had to assemble everything in the reverse order. Uh, it was very easy, so all procedure took for me about like three hours to complete. And uh, the results, the main scene is results. So levels been set up, then I started testing, tuning, and the sound which has been produced is, is really brilliant. So thanks a lot, I hope you enjoy it. And please see my other videos when I will be comparing the sound of upgraded decks to the high-end decks. Thank you and have a good day.